Well, they say, they say, yeah, yeah. Well, they say, James, that uh, now they're able to see through fMRI scanning of the brain, they can see that people with addictions produce less dopamine in the brain than people that don't have addictions. And if you just then combine early exposure to drugs or alcohol plus some trauma or emotional neglect, you've got like the perfect storm mm -hmm. for addiction to really... And, uh, yeah. Again, the mind's so powerful. I was watching something, a guy called Aye. Dr. Hammond, Aye, absolutely. one, men I've one seen, mentally yeah, yeah, playing yeah. it, and they, they done it for, I think it was five days consistently yeah. for two, three hours, and the ones mentally just visualising playing it, with, they actually, when it came for the ones who visualised that, were playing it the exact same way as the ones who were doing it yeah. physically. So in their brain, they were mentally just playing the piano Aye, absolutely and learning how to play it and yeah. by the end of the five days they were playing just as good as the ones who were actually playing it for the two three hours a day 